Hey Windows Phone fans, I'm Mark for WP Central and this is the Nokia Lumia Icon running Windows Phone 8.1. That's the one with preview for developers in case you wanted to be specific. So in this video, we are taking a look at OneDrive. It was just updated to version 4.1. All right, let's take a look. So why is this update a big deal? Well, those who updated to Windows Phone 8.1 preview for developers noticed that the OneDrive option disappeared. Well, now that you've updated to version 4.1, that option is back and there's more options to it. So let's go to camera roll and uh, let's take a look at this photo um, over here. That's a setup that I, I was trying to do today. Uh, but let's click share and now you'll notice that OneDrive is an option. So that is great. If you have a Windows Phone 8.1 preview for developers, you can stop complaining because now you can save your photos to OneDrive. Oh man, someone's at the door. So then you can choose from which folder uh, you want to upload the photo to. You can, uh, so here's the main OneDrive, but uh, you could also choose uh, other folders here. So I have Lumia here. Uh, let me just click on the check box and uh, there you go. That photo was just saved in that OneDrive folder. You can also do multiple file uploads. So for example, I'm going to click on these one, two, three photos and I click on share and select OneDrive. And now I could upload those three files into a specific folder that I want over here. If we just look at the app itself, you have this main view here. Here's your main OneDrive view. Um, you also have this option here at the bottom to change it to thumbnails view, which looks great by the way. It looks like a, a gallery. Um, if you click on a file, so here is a, a Microsoft Word file. It's going to open Microsoft Word on your Windows phone. So let me just show that to you. See, if I press and hold the back button, you'll notice that this is a Word application and uh, that's back to OneDrive. You could also open videos. Uh, let me go to my favorite folder here. This is the WP Central folder. If I go to video items, here are the the bumpers that we use for WP Central. If I click on an item, you can uh, play it on your phone. However, the bad news here is that you're not able to save this file to your, your phone. So right now I'm connected to Wi-Fi. I think it's trying to download this HD video. And uh, there you go. Uh, you probably know this video. That's uh, what usually plays before um, all the WP Central videos. Here is the images folder. And if I uh, press and hold, I can uh, share it. Um, actually, if I just click on it, I can click on the download option here at the bottom. You could also move it to a different folder. Uh, what else can you do here? Oh, what's also great is that now you can upload uh, different kinds of files to OneDrive. So for example, let's go to um, a file explorer that I have here on my Windows Phone 8. Uh, so far my favorite is Pocket Explorer. And uh, let's go to my downloads. And these are the PDF files that I've downloaded from Internet Explorer. If I uh, press and hold that one and click, click share. Now I have OneDrive as an option. So if I click on OneDrive, I can uh, select what folder I can uh, uh, upload it to. So I'll, I'll upload it to my documents and I'll click the checkbox. So that's a quick look at OneDrive version 4.1. Again, the big deal here is that now Windows Phone 8.1 users are going to be able to upload files and photos from their device. All right, that should be it. I'm Mark for WP Central. Thanks for watching.